I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is December 6, 2018, and in this video I'll be installing NTOPNG on PFSense and getting configured and running. Okay, now part of my concern about installing this is how much CPU and memory is it going to use compared to what I have right now. So right now, if I look at what I currently have, at idle I'm pretty much using 3% CPU, that's pretty typical, and actually, to be honest, before I, ins I installed this and removed it and reinstalled it again, and before that, I was really in the low, like 10 or 11% memory usage, so pretty low. Um, if I go and, and do a lot of uh, bandwidth tests right now, we'll see this jump up to, you know, 20 or 25. So like if I do a test, uh, speed test. If I run something, start to see my CPUs just jump up. There you go, 27%. And so that's kind of typical before I'm even using this program. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've already installed and done this before, so the concern actually goes away, but I want to show everyone else that there really is no concern. Uh, well, depending on what you're using, I have a network, a, a small PC engine that I bought, a PC engine APU 2C4. With, uh, and so that's what I have. It's a little low power, so I want to make sure it's okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So let me install it and compare. So what to install it, and I'm pretty new to PFSense, so I'm kind of exploring myself. You can go up here into System and go to Package Manager. And you go to Available Packages. And you can search for NTOP. And you should have NTOP NG. And just click Install. It's that easy. Confirm. And then it will go through its installation process. There we go, so we're installed. That took less than probably two minutes. I uh, probably could put a timer up here or something, but pretty quick. Now if I go to install packages, I should see that it is installed. So next, let me go over some simple configurations. Okay, now if I go, first I'm curious about CPU usage at this point. So if I go look at uh, my CPU usage, I'll see, it looks like my memory went up a little bit, but my CPU usage, what's well, 9%, 5% kind of settles down, so not much is going on here right now, so I'm pretty pretty good. Uh, nothing much has changed. So let me go configure this. Let me go to Diagnostics and in top, in top NG Settings. So click on that, and what I'm going to do here da, 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 is you got to check this. Oh, that might have been what I had to do before. Check this to enable NTOP. I might have not done that the first time I installed this. Uh, then what you're going to do, uh, it's remembering my settings. Okay, because I had this installed before, it's remembering my settings. Uh, so what you're going to do is type in some password for NTOP and G. It's a separate system you log into. And then you want to choose both interfaces, LAN and WAN, every interface you want to go over. And then, let's see. Da, da, da mode, leave that as is, custom networks. Uh, you can update the geo IP package. I haven't got that to work yet. I haven't spent much time on it, but you, there is some cool geo mapping you can do. So I need to figure that out. Uh, I haven't done it myself yet. Uh, there you go and click save. That's about it for configurations. Simple configurations. There we go. So now if I go back to the main menu and look at my CPU usage, I should see, yeah, it's about the same. Nothing much has happened. Now, one thing that I did do, which I may have messed up on my settings, and maybe I messed this up before. At this point, you can, you should be able to, I tr at this point when I did it before, I tried to log in. So I went down here and I went to NTOP, you go to NTOP NG to log in which is going to open up another place. So it's 1921, well, wherever your location is, it should be running on port 3000. Uh, but in my case, I never got there. Okay, I, might have a, I probably have a repeat of history here, so good. There you go, can't be reached. Uh, and so I drove myself crazy trying to figure this out Turns out it helps to actually turn it on. So it doesn't actually turn itself on, which makes some sense. Uh, so what you need to do here is you go down to go to statuses, go to status, status, and go to services. And here is NTOP NG. It's been installed, it's just not running. So that took me a little bit of time to figure that one out. So let me start it up.
There we go. And now that it's running, if I go over here and look at what I have now, how's it affecting my CPU? Mm, not much at idle. So now let me go over here. Now that this, it's going, let me go open it up. So status, no, diagnostics, in top NG. There you go. And so now I'm going to proceed to it. Okay, let me log in here. So I'll admin and I'll put the password in that I put in when I set this up. And then from here, I got a lot to learn about this. So it's probably a lot better to go watch some other people's videos on this and I'll put links to those. Uh, but there's a lot of cool diagnostic stuff you can go do in here. So here I got my interfaces. I'll go click on this one real quick. Uh, one GB. And the cool thing is here, I can go down here and click on flows. I've, I've learned a little bit. I click on flows and I can go find uh, like the servers I'm working on right now. So this happens to be, be me in here. Blah. Here on flows, I can see all this stuff going on right now. <clears throat> but I can also dig down deeper. I can go click on, in this case, this computer I'm on right now. And these are all the details on this guy running right now and what's going on. So it is really cool and detailed. Um, I can also see what's going on live down here. So if I go over here and run a speed test again, I should see this, you know, increasing in speed. There we go. Sent and received. Uh, and I can also, I can dig down deep, you know, DNS, HTTP, I can, I can go down here and I can do a, I can see a graph, you know, I just started, so there's not much information here. So I can see, uh, what's happened in the last 30 minutes on this box. Can you get more information? Oh, I guess it didn't throw away the information. Ah, since I reinstalled this, I guess it didn't bother getting rid of the old database. So I didn't really do a super clean erase. So I guess it's my preference. I, I kept my data so I can go back here and look. And over the last one day, this server, this machine I'm on right now has had 1.64 gigabytes of flow go through, which is really cool information. Um, I could also, let's see, <laughs> there's a lot of detail, a lot of diagnostic stuff you can do in here, just explore and, and go around. So um, let's see, another one I want to do, networks. Uh, networks, I can go in here and see my networks, where I'm connected, what's going on. And I probably want to change my interface to, no, I want to change remote networks. Yeah, right? Click on remote networks. No, 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 not that guy. Who's going in and out? I probably want to go click on that interface, go to the networks. That's my external. And so in theory, I might be a little off on this. If I click on here and then click on here and go, okay, for the last day, that should be all the data I've sent in and out of my system for the last day, which comes out to about 20 gigs right now. So a lot to investigate, a lot to learn, but I don't want to go too much into this. I'm still learning a lot myself. I'm still new to this. Um, go watch some other people's videos. I just kind of wanted to show how do you install it and how do you get it working? Uh, and then from there, go, go learn some more stuff. It's a really cool tool. You can really dig deep and you can find exactly what's happening on a certain host. There's a lot of really cool stuff to this. I'm really excited about learning more about it and diving more into it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver. Or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.